is our summer gold. It's beautiful, especially next to the dark, dark maple. It's beautiful. Lost a couple branches last year from a branch falling off of the tree above it. But that's okay. It's doing marvelous this year, even with the heat, like the fire, the smoke. It's beautiful. If I had to pick a favorite maple tree, favorite Japanese maple tree, I don't think I could pick one. I would have to pick many. Oh, there's some flowers. And then we have this guy. He's heat tolerant. We've had him in the ground for a couple years now. I just really like his leaves. They're pretty cool looking. And it is. Heat tolerant. See? It's a rare Tawanese maple. He ended up with a little bit of dead leaves this year. I'm not sure why. Maybe just not enough water at the beginning of the year. It's a very nice tree. It's a little taller than me. So he's actually doing pretty good. Uh, he's doing very well. Oh, and then we have some grasses and some hellebores and, and some Gare Bear daisies. Ooh, and then this one. This is Abigail Rose. I waited quite a few years to get this one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at those little leaves. The red around it. This one actually has a pink color to it. Very beautiful. <laughs> in the spring and in the fall. Very beautiful. Abigail Rose. She's not very tall yet. Ooh, and then we have a little poncho dogwood. A little poncho dogwood. We've had him quite a while, but he was having trouble in the ground when we first put him in because the big tree was sucking up all the water. We actually moved him, I believe, two times. He's doing really well here, as long as I give him water. Got an elephant leaf. And this little guy. It's kind of like, this one's kind of like the other big rose. Let's see if I can get down here without messing up the video. This one gets pink in the leaves too in the uh, spring. It's beautiful. I'm sure I have his name somewhere. <laughs> well, I can't seem to find his name. We got some. Mondo, 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 Mondo. He's already flowered. They have really pretty light lavender flowers. And then some of the stuff the earwigs decided to munch on. But that's okay. They'll make a comeback. Of course, some more daisies. I love these daisies. And then I have a couple more maples in the ground. Let's see if I can get up gracefully. Some more 
hellebores, some more grass. And then we have the bat wing. Japanese maple. This one had a hard time this year, the beginning with the cold and the hot and the cold and the hot. But it'll bounce back next year and look even better. And this one had darker leaves than the has darker leaves than the other one. Look, there's a web here. Oh, I don't see the spider. It's probably a garden spider. Yeah, this one had darker leaves than the summer gold. So I put it on this side. They're actually a little darker than what the flash is letting us see. So I stuck them over here by our Japanese waterfall. It's so beautiful. It was in the front and we moved it to the back. And then there, here's another heat tolerant one with darker leaves. These leaves are really cool. The lines in the leaves. You can see the heat's kind of getting to it, even though it's supposed to be heat tolerant. But we've had fires here. And this one is definitely taller than me. 